Tschüss. Hi guys, welcome to a weekend of my life vlog. I haven't done one of these in quite some time. I've actually not even been vlogging as much as I normally do. Comment down below if you guys want to vlog week soon. But I'm gonna take you guys along on my weekend. Today is Friday. Um, I've just been working, it's like 2 p.m. I actually took a bubble bath, it was really relaxing. Just been doing a lot of like computer, um, podcast outreach and all of that stuff. I really want to just have a great weekend and I kind of wanna do absolutely nothing and then I also maybe wanna like leave the house for a second, we'll see. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, follow my Instagram. I'm just gonna take you guys along on my weekend. I think I'm pretty much done with my work for the day. I just put lunch in the oven. I have been obviously reading Midnight Sun, the new Twilight book as we know, but I haven't really had that much time just because I've been working a lot this week. So I think I'm just gonna relax and read this afternoon, light some candles, I'm very excited. Right now I'm listening to the Jessica Simpson episode on Katherine Schwarzenegger's podcast. Very, very great guys. We love Jessica Simpson here on this YouTube channel. This is what I made for lunch. It looks and smells incredible. Just salmon, rice, broccoli, carrots, and then I made a little kind of like soy sauce, brown sugar concoction um, that I marinated it in, but it looks absolutely incredible. Good afternoon, everyone. So I've been reading Midnight Sun, incredible. Q came over. How was your lunch? Wasn't that really good? It was delicious. Yeah, that was actually like really, really good. Um, but I just wanted to do a little update on this Midnight Sun book. I really have become quite the book vlogger. Um, the dedication in itself and for this book, beautiful. What a piece of art, wow. Also, the other night I watched The Kissing Booth, which is possibly the worst movie I've ever seen, and then The Kissing Booth 2, but the, the thing is, the last 45 minutes of The Kissing Booth 2 really got me, guys. It's just, it's so bad that it's good, and I was really pulled in. Um, very, like, it's just one of those movies that you watch if you're like trying to watch a bad movie, but it's good, you know? Comment down below your favorite guilty pleasure movie. My other one is LOL with Miley Cyrus, or is it LOL, because they call her LOL. I never know. I don't feel like anyone has the answer to that, but it's so good. It's based in Chicago, one of my favorite cities. It's just incredible. I think it is currently 4.30. We are about to head off to Val's Cheesecake to get some, I guess they're having dessert before dinner because I'm definitely gonna eat this like when we get this. Anyways, Bella's Cheesecake is a black owned business in Dallas. They have two locations. We're gonna go to the Greenville one and they also have one in Fort Worth, I think. Okay guys, so that was a fail. I don't know why, but they're closed right now. So, and I called the other location and they didn't answer. So I'm just gonna take it as they're closed. Do we still wanna get other dessert? Best dessert. I don't want you to sit back here. Okay, so we ended up, I don't know what Q is doing. We ended up at the village. We ended up at the village. We're gonna go get some dessert. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that we had one of these here. They had them, these all over City of City, my old neighborhood. So cute. Guys, we're at Royal Blue and they have the coconut cold care. I wanted to try this so bad. So excited guys. Like you have literally no idea how excited. Got some great things guys. We're going to Bird Bakery. Now that I got this stuff though, I'm kind of just like, I mean, we've already committed. We have committed. Wow, this is quite the outing for us actually. Sanitation. We're gonna stop at the juice bar just to see after we've only bought uh, sugar. Also, this is where I get my bags repaired. Best place ever. Hi guys, it feels crazy to be vlogging um, and somewhere that isn't my house. On days that I'm not vlogging especially, I like really don't leave, so that's how you know. It's just like not been the craziest time over here. But I wanted to do a little Royal Blue Grocery Market. Grocery Mart? Gr what? A Royal Blue Market? I don't know. Anyways, um, Royal Blue, <laughs> Royal Blue is like a little convenience store, more of like a market, a neighborhood market um, in Highland Park. I picked up a few cool things they have. It's just more of like Air One style. It's like how I would describe it. I finally picked up the coconut cold probiotic coconut yogurt. This is all over Instagram right now. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but 
my mom always tells me I need to be taking probiotics and like this jar Okay, just so you understand the size was ten dollars granted it could have been a little bit more expensive because we were at a little market yeah i'm just really excited because i've been hearing the best things about this on instagram it's definitely pricey but this must be eight servings though so like it's not that bad it says you start with a couple tablespoons and then progress from there these probiotics pack a punch so i'm excited to try this okay so i love this brand of tea and i don't think i've ever tried this tea but it is the organic or it's their nighttime tea so it's a dreamy blend of oat flower lavender and lime flower i've just been wanting a nighttime tea q says he's been using the vital proteins like sleep thing i don't know i want him to bring some over to my house for me but he just hasn't and i want to try that i also got that got the califia farms dairy-free almond milk creamer because i have some new cold brew stuff that i'm making from home oh my gosh okay this is very nostia of me nostia lucan she was on the podcast a few weeks ago she always has these and her fridge is like stocked with them she always puts them on her stories so i was like i need to get them and she got strawberry field so i felt like i needed to do it you know what i mean oh okay and of course smart sweets everyone i got two bags and i've already eaten one bag best things ever fan uh, two of my fave gals megan and lauren sent me a birthday card or a birthday present i am so excited i was like i thought i ordered something from ulta and i forgot that they told me it was coming in an ulta box Oh yeah, no. bed by nine literally it says love you girl megan and lauren your fave subscribers they're so cute oh. <laughs> like espresso pods because they're always like why do you not use that thank you genuinely actually and i can never decide which ones i want like that's so good oh my gosh oh look it's a little texas glass oh this one's even oh my gosh this one's really cute look it's this little oh that is so cute cute look at this one wow. cute right i know thanks guys love you so much also guys, I bought this online a few days ago and I got all of this Dr. Jart stuff for $71. It was an extreme sale. I'll link it down below and it's honestly probably on sale at the Nordstrom sale regardless, so I'll link it. First thing, I have the Tiger Grass Calming Mist. I'm so excited. If you guys have redness at all or deal with redness, like this stuff will save your life. Um, not this stuff, I haven't tried this, but just this line. I love the, I love the um, just normal like jar, but... I'm excited to try the whole line. Also, my little brother wants it. Wow. It smells good. I also got the Tiger Grass Calming Gel Cream. I'm excited to try this. Also, the texture just of this um, tube is like really nice. Okay, so here is the serum as well. This is really good Like when I don't have any self-tanner on and I'm completely pale. It's great. Also, this is from Dr. Jarp, but not from the Tiger Grass line. This is their Primey Moisturizer which I really wanted to try because every time I try anything from Dr. Jar, I like become obsessed. So I wanted to try a new product. But guys, like normally these things are like 40 to $50 each and I got four things for $71. So crazy, very excited to try these out. Guys, I have another coffee set up now. Um, also, I'm actually love looking at these. I'm actually like really excited to try these. Love. Um, this is for cold brew. So I have a cold brew maker. I used to make my own cold brew. Um, in LA, I mean by I used to I did it like four or five times and I actually really liked it But I saw Lauren posted this to her story the other day and I was like wait a second. I need that because it's a genius idea and I've been extremely exhausted lately and I only want cold brew out, So I wanted to try making it from home this okay the fan really ruined it But this is um really pretty so I love that and then I got an electric coffee grinder because I want to get the new orleans blend from blue bottle but i know it's beans so just need an electric grinder i feel like a real adult Ooh, this is exciting i got these on target i'll have them linked down below last thing brooke Lennon was so kind and sent me new sheets which i'm so excited for i've only heard the absolute best things about them oh my gosh so cute look at this guys even their tote bag is cute and I'm like picky when it comes to tote bags too. So I got the core sheet set Lux and then a duvet cover, which I actually needed. I don't even know if they knew that. And pillowcases. Oh wait, there's something else. <gasps> wait, what is this? You know me and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it matches my room perfectly. Literally. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Wow. We love this. Updates to come.
two different lids for this. So you put this lid on overnight in the fridge. It needs to be in there for like 12 to 24 hours. And then I'll eventually, you know, press and do that um, whenever I come back to this. Martinelli's apple juice. This stuff is so good. I mean, it's probably, it is so bad for you, I'm sure, but it is. Good morning, everyone. I was just playing with Fitz and took them out, and then he got water literally all over the floor. Anyways, it is Saturday morning. I just ordered myself a Smoothie King smoothie. It is my favorite. It is so good. Um, if you use my DoorDash code, you guys will get $10, so I'll have that link down below, but I'm just gonna spend my morning um, reading Midnight Sun. All right. Okay, good morning guys. Officially, um, I want to pin this up more, but I don't know if I have a pin, and I don't know. This is why, guys, I wish that I could wear wrap dresses without having to like do this stuff all the time, but you know, whatever. Um, happy Saturday. So, I woke up in the middle of the night and remembered that today is in fact August 8th, which is my cousin's birthday brunch. I don't know about you guys, but doing anything outside of my house to me is so extremely draining. Like, I'm talking even going to like the market yesterday, like that was a whole other deal and I could be good at home for like the whole weekend. And Q and I were talking about going to a drive-in tonight, which I guess isn't draining. But so I remembered we're doing this little cute brunch at 60 Vines and I just didn't put it on my calendar for some reason, which I always do. Um, I think I just didn't know if it was confirmed or not. And her birthday is Monday, I didn't forget her birthday. I just like, wasn't thinking that today is August 8th and that was her birthday brunch. So I, I say all this to say, um, it's not even that I'm like, it's a COVID thing because it's like a very safe setup. I, I mean, I am a bit of a COVID freak, <laughs> but I don't know guys, like if I go do anything, it is so dirty to me now. And I, okay, this is just not working. I'll have to have, Q is about to drop my car off, so. Um, I'll have to have him do that. I'm gonna try the priming moisturizer, by the way. I think that's him right now. But yeah, like doing anything to me now is like so draining. Like I will be exhausted. So anyways, I'm excited to celebrate her. She's like my best friend, so this would be great. And I already got her gift like two weeks ago and it's already wrapped and it's been sitting downstairs for two weeks. Um, I'm just doing some light makeup. I actually am getting my hair cut soon. It's just way too long. So this is my hair and makeup look. I haven't um, actually put my lip products on yet, but I need to find something for this dress and then I'm pretty much ready to head out. Actually, I need a new perfume. Comment down below what you guys think I should get. I really, really need one. All right, this is my outfit. This dress is from Misguided. I got it months ago and I've actually just never worn it, but love it. And then I have my favorite boots that I recently got from Revolve and they're free people. I mean, no, they're not, they're Jeffrey Campbell. And then just kind of like my normal jewelry. This is my look for today. Okay guys, I'm ready. I'm gonna play folklore. I have her gift. So cute from Favor the Kind. The AC is so loud. Um, I'm definitely a few minutes late, which I'm never late, but uh, here we are, you know? I like haven't gotten really ready in so long, so I'm just like, what? It doesn't even look like me now. All right guys, I'm back from brunch. Anytime I do anything, it is so exhausting to me. I think maybe it's just because of COVID. I don't know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are experiencing that. I'm back home. Hopefully I can read Midnight Sun. Q has been here with the pups. Guys, we've been cuddling with the dogs and watching the morning show. I know I am so late on the show, but it is so good. TK would be very proud of me. All right guys, I'm taking a break from the morning show to switch to change my sheets. I'm so excited. These are from Brooklinen. I've heard the best things about uh, Brooklinen just as a whole, so I'm really excited. I'm I know I like only recently did my bedroom and I fully regret it because I was like, I know this isn't gonna last for that long, but I don't wanna spend too much money, just blah, 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 whatever. And I don't know. I really just like think about changing it every day. Um, so we'll see, but I definitely have some great ideas. Like honestly, I've even thought about ignoring the prints and stuff, moving, okay, getting a different dresser. I want all new furniture besides this chair. 
and getting a tall dresser right there and then putting a TV on top or something. Then moving the chair over here and making it like a cute seating, or seating, a cute um, sitting area. I can also move the bed over this way more and then who knows, but these are the things I constantly think about. I feel like doing your house is just one of those things that you're like constantly changing or at least for me, I don't know, I'm constantly changing it. Also, I wanted to say guys, I got these slippers on Amazon, literally $20 and they're absolutely incredible. So I'll have them linked down below, but I just, I love them. These are, you know, granted like my pajamas, but love a gray set with some beige. Alright guys, so I was making my bed and like actually making it look good and stuff, but then I remember that two of my pillows are downstairs, so I can't even like finish it anyways, but um, the sheets are so soft, I like cannot wait to get to bed tonight. Alright, we have a Chick-fil-A, DoorDash link will be down below. I'll see you guys. Good morning everyone, um, happy Sunday. Coco, you, d of course she like insists on drinking water as it makes so much noise. So I just took the pups on a long walk, obviously I showered. Did all that stuff. Um, it's almost 8 a.m. and we are about to go pick up a Nordic track because they're being crate trained. Which, by the way, I can comment on this. They're being crate trained. A actual. I have all of this from an actual dog trainer. Their crates are their actual sizes. Coco can fully move around in her crate. Also, I don't think you guys realize that she's literally five pounds. Um, but like, I do not need dog mom police commenting on my stuff. My entire life is basically taking care of these dogs, and it's a dog trainer. Like. You're not a dog train. So I'm just like so sick and tired of the dog mom comments. Like, please, just like stop. I'm doing everything that the dog trainer said. Don't need to hear it from you. Um, also, they're out all the time. You guys just don't realize that Fitz is a puppy and he is like so much energy and crazy. I wear him out and then he'll take a nap and that's when I normally vlog because if not, he just makes a lot of like noises and he's jumping on me as I film and blah, blah, blah. That is that. Okay, I'm sorry that this vlog is really product heavy um, and just like haul heavy and stuff. These are purchases that I've made like over time slash like the majority of stuff slash like stuff that has been sent to me. Okay, so I finally got my candles in from The Coop. Look at how beautiful, black owned business. I'm actually having the founder on my podcast. I got Ocean Drive, After Party, and Mercer Street. So I'm really excited. I know her business is like booming, um, so I had to wait a second for these, but seriously, I'm so excited and I think that they're so cute. So I'll have that link down below. Guys, I will absolutely never get over what I'm about to show you. So Chloe Hart's Art on Instagram, um, she made these for me and my sister and my cousin oh i meant i meant to give a better review you can't see um basically she drew us and it says giddy up guys is that not so cute so that's me obviously and then that's Alyssa, and that's maddie and Alyssa and maddie both have new places so so cute so and it's also perfect that it's Alyssa's birthday tomorrow because i can drop this off but guys oh my gosh if you are ever looking for like cute gifts or just honestly, anything for fun. Chloe Hart's art. She's so sweet. And like, she was sending this to me, and I didn't even know she was sending the other two for Alyssa and Maddie, which is just like so sweet. I'm obsessed. What else do I? I feel like that's pretty much it. I mean, I got a new hard drive. Exciting. But yeah, I'm sorry. A lot of it is like so many, just like, this is what I got. Whatever. And I'm going to buy a treadmill. Like, that's not normal. I feel like some days I get a lot of packages. Some days they don't. Also, I don't really go out and shop, so like everything is the package, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm wearing a set active set and then just a misguided tank top, my normal jewelry. <coughs> we're about to head out. Me and my stepbrother Seth, Q. Um, I think we're gonna get some breakfast and then pick up my treadmill. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Seth is just seriously this lifesaver. Guys, these are the best things ever. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> Guys, I am absolutely so thrilled. Another house update. Part of me wants to put the projector down, and obviously this is the perfect room for a projector because it has to be um, like completely dark. But at the same time, I would love to be able to watch TV in the mornings when I do the treadmill and like watch something. So part of me wants to get like a really big TV, and then that way we can like condense this and make it a little bit closer as well a lot of it has to do with that and then i would love to like put a desk down here for quinton or something just because of the living room i mean he doesn't like, live here but it would be nice so um i would just need a really big tv 
and that is like not on my priority list right now also ignore this cord um i've been doing some high tech security because i saw a video from a navy seal on how it's the easiest to break into your house through your garage and yeah if i were to remove the projector it's totally fine because it's one really inexpensive and two i could like bring it places like on the rooftop or like outside in the backyard or something like I would still use it. You know? All right guys, I'm back. Um, I put on some tennis shoes and I have my hydro flask full of water. I posted an Instagram story of the new treadmill and I just put my Starbucks in it because I was trying to get out of the way for the photo and everyone's like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. Ha ha ha. Like, guys, I could literally never work out drinking an iced chai latte. But anyways. I Fitz? Oh my gosh, she like doesn't even want to play with me. He just goes and sleeps in his crate now. A sleepy pup. Look at how big he is, guys. Like, I can knock it over how big he's gotten. Hi, boy. Um, I want to see what he does near the treadmill. I'm really hoping nothing too crazy. I hope it doesn't scare him because he still doesn't like vacuums and stuff. But anyways, we're going to go downstairs and work out, Fitz. Are you excited? All right, so this is very slanted. First matter of business. Oh, hi, Puffs. Are you guys going to cuddle today? All right, I'm going to try the 12 3 30 treadmill routine. I know Lauren Geraldo loves this. I actually want to say, I, but he, like, he literally only wants to go back to his crate because it's like a confined, close space for him and all, a lot of his toys and beds are there. So like, basically he just likes his bed and his toys more than me. So, uh, okay, anyways, I'm going to try the 12 3 30 treadmill routine. I really want to try it out for a while. Basically, I'm pretty sure Lauren Geraldo actually made it up. I found it on her Instagram and stuff. You go at a 12 incline speed of three for 30 minutes and apparently it's like, really tough and it's really good for you so I'm gonna try that out because that just sounds better to me I'm, I'm gonna try that out and let you guys know um, oh Coco Fitz is playing with his toy I'm gonna try that out and let you guys know how I like it I've seen some great before and afters too look at him he loves this draft toy we got it for him when he was little but he I mean he's still little but he's very big in comparison hey bud oh my gosh they've just been playing in here together that's my besties and my cheerleaders isn't that right Fitz so you guys, they're out all the time. I just don't vlog when they're out because I feel like also, if my vlog is just my dogs, you guys might get bored, but I'm aware they're really cute. So anyways, I've been teaching Fitz new trips, new tricks. He knows how to pound it and he figured it out on the first try. It's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look, update on 12, 3, 30. It is like really insane. Oh, it's so much harder than you think. Oh, my dad's calling. Lucky me, I have so much laundry to put away. So I'm going to put on a vlog and then get to that update on the Brooklyn and Sheets, guys. I will have them linked down below. Incredible. I'm going to go downstairs and do some editing, I think. But I try not to work at all on Sundays, but I didn't really do anything yesterday. So I feel like it's okay if I do some stuff today. Sit with me. Guys, this is the most random lunch I've ever made. Um, just some pasta, chickpeas. I'm so hungry and I have no groceries. I need to make my grocery list and order them today. I'm editing the podcast episode. Normally, I don't do this and this isn't for I Love You So Much. This is for the living room. So for I Love You So Much, I have an editor. But for this one, this is my first podcast episode actually I've ever edited. But um, Q and I did an entire episode together. So if you guys want to listen, join the living room. Um... It's actually really good. I actually really like it. I know I'm biased, but promise it's good. All right, Fitz, the smoothie isn't for you, but just ordered another smoothie from Smoothie King. I'll have my DoorDash link down below. You guys get... Okay, seriously, Fitz? Rude. <laughs> He's so cute. But you guys get $15 credit, I think. And that goes towards food. Just finished editing, and now I have this rain playing on my TV. Gonna finish the smoothie, and then obviously keep reading Midnight Sun. Close your eyes. You're gonna act surprised. All right, open up. My hair. Oh my so god! Cute. Isn't that so cute? Who did this? Chloe Hart's art on Instagram. I know, isn't that so cute? I have one too. So we so all have. We don't even houses. have a picture like this. So Wait, this I know. I had her draw it. She I sent her your Instagram photo profiles. Is that so Wait, cute? This is so odd. She could have. Maddie goes. My yeah. hair looks the best. So my I have hair it. looks so good. That's all I wanted. Thank you to Chloe. Oh Chloe, my god. Thank you. This is guys. Look, amazing. With our cute pics. Wow. I love so these. So can we frame these? Yeah, we need to get... Okay guys, so I'm actually about to make dinner. I'm not even that hungry, I just really feel like cooking. As you guys saw, um, Alyssa and Maddie stopped by for a second, my cousin and my sister, because I wanted them to pick up their art prints. But I am making stuffed peppers. It is, they're so freaking good. 
Um, I've made them before, for like HelloFresh stuff, and I've made them on my own too, but so good, so easy, like literally the easiest thing ever. If you guys want me to start a cooking series, comment down below, because maybe I can have a guest each time or something. Anyways, this is a really easy thing. It's basically just peppers, cheese, ground turkey, diced tomatoes, black beans, onions, garlic, taco seasoning, um, just like kind of whatever you want to add. But. All right, guys. It's a great vibe in the house. Um, we are currently cooking. I wish I wouldn't have put them in yet. It's so early and I'm not gonna be hungry for quite some time. But they look really good. I just mopped and vacuumed the floor. I got the Swiffer WetJet like pads for hardwood floor. And then my beautiful, obviously my beautiful Dyson vacuum. We've been playing with the pups. Well, guys, I didn't bother to like make it look pretty, but that looks so good. I don't know, it was Chef Fitz. Oh, Chef Fitz? No, it was me, Fitz. Nice try. My gosh. You were so cute! Okay, guys, my groceries have been delivered. We got my favorite snack over here. Um, some, mal some more balsamic. I was going to say mal- no, that's just not it. Um, some cherry tomatoes. I have a few new recipes I'm making this week, slash I'm also making bolognese. I know we're shocked. Making ratatouille. Got some heavy whipping cream. I'm making caprese- caprese salad making my favorite salad actually tonight so it can kind of marinate. Celery, carrots, um, then I just got a lot of vegetables obviously for the ratatouille. So, very exciting stuff guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. I'm filming a week in my life vlog this week, which I'm really excited for and then I'm thinking the week after that I might be doing a vlog week, which sounds really fun, but I don't think my life is exciting enough for that right now. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon, bye.